everyone, it's Zyne Mark SW and welcome to another one of my toy review videos. Last year you may remember I reviewed some of the new gadgets by the Spy Ninjas and because that video was such a success I've decided to do a part 2 and review the newer gadgets they've made. There are 6 gadgets but I've only got 4. The Transforming Stunchucks, the Covert Communicator, the Gizmo Lie Detector and the Night Vision Glasses. I don't have the Sonic Star or the Gizmo Drone. I'll explain why at the end of this video. But if you're looking forward to this review, then do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you're new to my channel. Also, if you haven't seen the first review video, do go and check that out because I do an introduction of who the Spy Ninjas are. Okay, we'll start things off with the Transforming Stun Chucks. This is Chad's gadget. I talked about it in the last video and some of you may remember that I used it in my Smash Valentine's Day video where I used it to smash a heart pinata. Now I know it doesn't look like nunchucks at the moment, it looks more like a baton, but that's because it's two weapons in one. But the first thing you should know about this is that if you hit something hard, these blue lights shine up. Like that, you see? The idea is it's meant to work like a taser. The blue lights would contain electromagnetic energy which you'd use to stun people if they're getting aggressive. As you can see, it's not a real taser, because if it was, I'd be dead by now. So how to turn this into nunchucks? Well, there are two red buttons, one there, and then one on the other side. Press them down together, then twist and pull. And you have nunchucks. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. I confess I don't know much about uh, nunchucks, I don't know the moves, I know the uh, sort of, is it, yeah, yeah, you gotta, no. <laughs> no, I'm more of a uh, blasters, firearm, gun person. I have to be honest about these uh, nunchucks, I've seen Chad uh, with the prototype version of this, and honestly, I think the prototype version looked much, much better. The prototype had a more sleek design, much cooler. Um, it was much thinner, it wasn't this thick. And instead of a rope, which this has for the midsection, holding them together, the prototype had a plastic chain, which I think was better. It actually looked like a real nunchucks which is what all nunchucks have, they have uh, chains. I don't think they actually have ropes because overuse could cause the uh, fabric to wear through and eventually it will snap. So that's my honest opinion. I think the prototype was better than these. I mean, these are still good, but uh, I don't know. It's just one of the things where you think, oh, maybe the prototype looked a bit cooler than uh, the final result. I think they changed them for, you know, safety because uh, all this is foamy rubber for sort of safety. On to the next gadget which is the Covert Communicator. I think Melvin designed this one. Basically it's a walkie talkie. There's a velcro strap so you can wear it on your wrist like I'm doing now or you can just use it as a regular walkie talkie. How it works is this is the on off switch and you press the talk button here when you want to communicate. You hold it down, say your message, and then when you're finished, let go. Maximum range, about 200 yards. But what I like about this, this isn't just a radio transmitter, it also does other things. It's like a utility belt. So we have uh, this button here, which is an LED light. Very good for sending Morse code messages or a torch. A magnifying glass and a compass inside, but you'll have to take the compass out because it's secured on by a magnet, and magnets affect compasses. There's also a mirror inside, a small compartment for putting secret messages in, so bits of small paper, and on one side, there's a storage area for one stun star. As you can see, it's plastic. On the other side is a firing mechanism. You can see the other stun star there, when you press this button down, it fires the disc. So here we go. It's quite effective. It actually shot it quite a long way. So it can only fire one disc at a time. Let's fire the other one. Lock and load, and... 
Now I've seen radio transmitters and walkie-talkies with other features like the light and there's usually a button to send uh, Morse code, you know, beeps, beep, 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 but um, I think this one, this one has more features, that's why I like it, because it can do so much more than just flashlights, send messages. The only downside with this, there's no channel frequency control setting. Most walkie-talkies and radio transmitters have like a switch so you can change uh, channel frequencies. That way you can talk to more than just two people. Because if you were in a team, you'd need four communicators, but uh, if they can only communicate with the same one, so if this can only communicate with this one on my wrist, then if I bought another set of communicators, then I don't think these two will be able to communicate with the new two, if you know what I'm trying to say. So maybe if it did have a channel setting, then this would be, I think, the perfect walkie-talkie. But apart from that one setback, I like this. I really do. But that's not all, because the covert communicator also comes with some accessories. Two training manuals. These are new ones, different from the uh, sets I reviewed in the last video. A decoder card. An ID card. I've already put my name on it. A decoder wheel. See my first video for the review of that. Two throwing stars. A headband. And a utility belt. To uh, disconnect. Press here. Only thing is, this is really designed for children. The belt won't fit on an adult. The third gadget to have a look at, the Gizmo Lie Detector. This was invented by Daniel, as he's the Spy Ninja's lie detector expert. How it works is, you put your finger inside these two Velcro straps. See, inside, there's a metal disc. The idea is it touches your skin, so the lie detector can measure your heart rate. So, put them on like this. Doesn't matter which hand you put it on. Then you plug in, and then switch on. As you can see, the blue light is flashing. This one shaped like a heart it means it's picking up my heart rate and pulse. Because if I took one of these off, it breaks the connection. So it's best to keep them on. It's also recommended that you don't keep them on for too long. No more than 10 minutes. So as you can see, the standby light is red, so it's ready to uh, test the subject. You can adjust the sensitivity by adjusting this dial here. And you can go ahead and ask your questions. Like most light detectors, it's not 100% accurate, so don't take the results too seriously. But it would be good if it was accurate, so I'll give it a try. Uh, so my birthday is the 5th of May. Press the analyze button. It's running. Best to keep your hands still when you're doing this. Yay! It's true. So it got it right. I admit the beeps on this are very loud, but uh, there's no volume control, so there's not much you can do about it. So I'll give it another go and see what happens. Uh, let's see. Uh, my favorite spy ninja is Regina. Yay, got another one right. So now let's see if we can get a false answer. I need to tell a lie. Um, let's see, how about... My favorite animals are dogs. Hey, I got it right. It is false. Now, I'm sorry, dog fans, but uh, I'm not really a dog person. I prefer cats. I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed with this, oh, especially because all three answers I've given are correct. Um, I guess it's just luck, really. But um, what I like about this lie detector is that um, most lie detectors that are available for the public, they're the ones that always uh, give you an electric shock if you're lying. And I don't like that. With this one, it doesn't give you a shock. You're perfectly safe. And when you're finished with it, just... Um, Press the on-off button. Switch, really. 
So yeah, again like the Covert Communicator, this is another gadget I like. Especially because it doesn't electrocute people. Like I said, it's not 100% accurate, but if you're lucky, then it could get most of your questions right. And the last gadget to review, the night vision glasses, or goggles, whichever you prefer. Uh, these were designed by V uh, a while ago. She got blinded during a mission, so she had to wear some glasses for a while. So the Spy Ninjas made these night vision goggles. The side bits, I think they're called uh, temples, they are a bit stiff when uh, trying to extend them. There we go. I try and be careful, I don't want to break them. There we go. Okay, I'll put them on. They fit very well, nice and tight so they don't slip. As you can see, the lenses are blue. And uh, when you look through them, they, everything has a blue sort of tint. I think that's the right phrase. And on the side is the LED night vision light. Press this button down on top, and it's green. Now I have actually tried this in the dark, and it's actually very effective. Not really, it is. I can see a lot better. On the right side as well, you can deploy the magnifying glass. So if you want to look at something close up. On the left side, you have this detachable flashlight. Press the button on the top, and it becomes a torch. It attaches on like this. See these uh, sort of slots there? That's where the hooks go. If I had other pairs of spy glasses, then I would be able to compare it with the Spy Ninja one and tell you if this one is better or not. But uh, for the time being, I don't have any other spy glasses. This is the first pair I've owned, so uh, you'd have to um, go and buy some more if you're going to compare this. My only downside with these glasses is that um, the buttons aren't um, sort of fixed. The moment you let go, the lights go out. This could be a problem if you're doing like a task in the dark. Because if it was a switch, then you could just switch it on. And then you got both your hands free to do your tasks. Whereas because you have to hold the button down, you've only got one hand free. So um, I think maybe if a switch instead of a hold down button would have been better. But uh, apart from that, it's still good. Like I said, I've tried these in the dark and they are very effective. Now the glasses come in this mission kit. Uh, on one side, it looks like a book, but it's actually a case because it has a handle. So I reviewed two of these in the first Spy Ninja video. Inside, you have a greetings message from Chad and V, a folder containing training files, and you have another decoder wheel. When you take out the container in the mission kit, you also get another utility belt, decoder card, ID card, a notepad so you can record all your evidence, instruction manual on how to use the glasses, and a certificate to prove that you are a spy ninja. The training files are the same as the ones you get with the covert communicator. We have the decoder challenge and the hacker invasion manual. So that completes the review of the four Spy Ninja gadgets. Now onto the ratings, the biggie. For the transforming stun chucks, I'm gonna give them eight out of 10 because like I said, I preferred the prototype. That was much cooler. For the covert communicator, I'm giving that nine out of 10. It would be 10 out of 10 if it had a channel frequency setting, then you can play with more than two. For the gizmo lie detector, I'm giving it 10 out of 10, because like I said, it's nice to have a lie detector that doesn't give you an electric shock. I think this is the first, and Daniel, I congratulate you. And for the night vision glasses, I'm giving them nine out of 10. Uh, they lose a point because, like I mentioned, they have a press down buttons instead of a switch. And honestly, I'm hoping that these will be sold separately in the future. So um, you don't need to buy a mission kit. So if something went wrong with these, like if they actually got damaged and broken, you have to pay a lot more just to get a whole new mission kit. Whereas if they were sold separately, you only need to buy the glasses and just replace them. So out of all these four gadgets, 
Daniel's lie detector is the winner. And now I shall explain why I haven't reviewed the other two. I didn't review the Sonic Star because honestly there's not much to it. It's really uh, just plays sound effects and it's just used for distracting people. As for the Gizmo drone, another one of Daniel's inventions, I'm not very good at operating drones. I tried it once and it's a lot more tricky than you think. Personally, I prefer ground operating vehicles like cars, tanks, that kind of stuff. Which um, has got me thinking because Regina used to have a remote control car and she would fit an onboard camera to it. A Reggie Racer, I think she called it. So if the Spy Ninjas did more gadgets, maybe she could do her version of the Reggie Racer and make it available to the public, just like uh, Daniel made his drone available. If the Spy Ninjas do come up with uh, more gadgets, it will be interesting to see uh, what they come up with. Now, the Spy Ninjas have also done some action figures. These are now available, uh, both in the US and the UK. You can get some of these gadgets at uh, Smith's Toys Superstore. So to answer the question, are these gadgets worth getting? Yes, if one, you're into spying adventures, and two, if you're a fan of the Spy Ninjas. So do go and check out the Spy Ninjas, I'll put all their YouTube links in the description below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. This is Agent 21 reporting in. Mission complete, over and out.